Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Divinity Original Sins 2, uh, the Definitive Edition. My name is Saiken, we're playing on Honor Mode Difficulty Plus, uh, so every single enemy is not only on the highest difficulty, but it's going to be leveled two levels above us, which uh, will make every boss fight uh, even, or every fight like a boss fight, and even every boss fight on top of it more difficult. So, I promised you that we're going to move on to the next area and I got a really interesting fight uh, which is the winter dragon upcoming so you can free him and then just thank him and that's it you get experience and done or you decide to fight him which of course is what we're going to do because I found it more interesting you get slightly more rewards out of it and we also would get slightly more experience out of it he's cold immune and uh, takes little damage uh, therefore from water da uh, damage spells but fire works quite well against him so what we're going to do is we are going to start with positioning ourselves properly and after two attacks on to him the fight is on Seville is the only one who hasn't been in combat. Enough time to haste lows. And there you go. The dragon already started to uh, use chicken on Saiken. And with its frost breath, he's probably... Yep going to freeze Sibyl on um, on top of it. So unfortunately not much that we can do against being a chicken. I think... Just out of curiosity, did... Um, no, I think that did not remove Polymorph. I think it did not remove polymorph. Anyways, you can see the dragon is highly buffed up. We're looking at 2,200 hit points and massive amounts of um, of both physical and magical armor. Therefore, we need to start dealing damage to him. So, unfortunately, uh, he will get a turn before we can react. So the only thing that we could do is we could provide better targets for him. So that he does not kill any of our characters. Massive hit. And he refreezes um, Sibyl. Gotta give her... Um, gotta give her uh, magical armor soon. That's a kill on Saiken. Yep, he's a strong fellow and he has uh, eight. Uh, he has eight ability points. So Saiken is down, which means we need to get him back uh, as soon as possible. Let's think about how we can establish a line of sight. Saiken died at a really, really poor position here. Oh, he got the chicken overload, uh, overlord trade. Now I do understand. I've never seen him doing uh, the chicken. So every hit essentially turns you into chicken. Well, that makes the fight just a tiny bit more difficult. 
So we gotta get uh, Sibyl out of Frozen. Let's see what our uh, scrolls could do. Unfortunately, don't have a scroll of magic armor anymore. Probably should have bought one up front. It seems that Losa does not get turns for whatever reason. Hmm. This is looking a little bit dire. Let's think about how we can solve that. I'm almost uh, thinking about a reset because the Chicken Overlord uh, provided quite a nasty surprise for us. So if we teleport Seville over here, give ourselves adrenaline <coughs> and just try to flee for now, essentially resetting the combat. There we go. Gotta make sure that you're not losing. It's at the end of the day, honor mode. If um, I'm getting defeated here, we're essentially losing the entire campaign. Slowing him down further. Let's offer ourselves as a uh, good target. Yeah, the problem is every single hit of his, and mind you, the hits are rather problematic. Every single hit of his um, is either um, going to turn us into a chicken or is freezing us and that's a problem. Summoning Seville far, far away. That at least got her out of combat, I think. Yep. Now Psyche needs to get out of combat. There we go, perfect. Okay, this is how you're resetting a combat without like fully resetting it. We certainly got to spread out way more because elsewise he's simply going to kill us. Let me prepare it, and Losa has just died, so there's there's that. Okay, I think he's not aggressive anymore. I'll get everyone back together right here and then we're going to retry the battle. All right, we're testing a new uh, new setup with it, which is way more spread out. So 
got Seville over here, Saiken over here, and the two frontline characters right in the middle. Let's start getting our summoning going. This time I'll use physical damage. Good. Before they are going to come, let's encourage ourselves real quick. And everyone joins combat. Nice. So he immediately started summoning his chickens. His chicken overlord. Good. Way better this time. I think we can easily deal with... The uh, Incarnate can easily deal with the chickens. Instead, let's get back here. And we have a be way better position on him this time. Just out of curiosity, no, we can't teleport him. Alright, he has taken quite a bit of damage. There we go. Most of the chickens are down. One more whirlwind. And they're done. Good. So, in terms of dealing with him, of course we haven't prepared the... Uh, the underground uh, yet but let's start to give him some targets mosquito swarm and there is the spider Good. We're now going to start getting rid of his magical armor. Hundred forty-one and hundred sixty. That's good. Halfway through his uh, physical armor. Once the armor breaks, we essentially um, can crowd control him. Got ourselves a uh, new support there. We got plus 40% high ground damage. Should take advantage of this. Nice shot. But we can do better than that. So elemental arrows, just physical blood damage. Another uh, shot for 200. I think we need to focus on dealing as much damage at the beginning as possible. So early adrenaline. Almost got him down to no armor. And I do have an idea how we can control him. Resummoning our incarnate, which gets an immediate turn. Buff it up. And then we can get a charge into him, battering ram. There's the knockdown I was looking for. Now we should be able to clean clean up this mess here.
Right, he got us good the first time, and I applaud his ability to do that. But that's not going to happen again. There we go. We... Uh, this here is fire, but I actually like the high ground damage that, we, that we've... Uh, Got for ourselves here. So let's haste. And I still appreciate that we can deal a lot of um, magical damage against him. There we go. He has a gigantic hitbox. Right, time to continue hitting him. At this point, once you got the enemy under control, there isn't too much uh, that he can do. We should be able to chain CC him. another knockdown and we're continuing our onslaught so time for some magical uh, damage He has way too much magical armor. Saigon won't be able to contribute. There we go. He was a tough cookie. Consider that he... <laughs> consider that um, he had all of uh, that uh, crowd control at the beginning. It was actually pretty impressive how he controlled all of us. And once you're on your back foot, that's also a thing that uh, that one learns when playing this game. Once you're on your back foot, it's really difficult to get back up. By the way, this is a nice little sword. Requires strength, but offers you one intelligence and one strength. So kind of pays for itself. Warfare. It's really not bad. I mean, the damage is awesome, but it's unfortunately not a dagger. Too bad. So these are the items that we've just found. Nice little staff, plus two intelligence, 10% lifesteal. I think that's something that Saiken could use. Um, mm, probably both of his ones together are better. I like the wits part here. That offers him more critical strike chance, and Saiken will need that. That's an okay ring. The hit points aren't aren't really that exciting, but Ifan might be able to use it.
How much is a scoundrel? Yeah, more than enough. So let's give this to Ethan just for the magical resist and the extra hit points. He finally is able to tank. Pyro and Aero Thurk was good. I think ours is still better, mildly. Yep, so pretty decent loot. And a dead dragon, plus a lot of experience. After defeating him, we're now on our way to the last uh, battle here, which is going to be our next video. Right at the end lies an awesome cave, which we're soon going to explore. Yeah, within, there's going to be one of the tougher battles here. So, if you know how it's done, oh well, probably with the uh, leveled up enemies, this might be even the toughest battle, because there are just dozens and dozens of enemies. If they are all level uh, 12, well, it's uh, pretty. That's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. Anyways, we're going to see each other in the next uh, battle. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, leave a comment down below or a like. Thanks, and bye bye.